Yeah. So this is amazing, like, part. Really good late title screen. Uh, and this part's really weird because, I don't know, you kind of read it both ways. It's like, she looks angry at me. And we know that, like, she was probably my partner. And she's pointing a gun at me, but she's not shooting. So I don't know. I don't know if she's angry at me or if, like, she just got shut up and is, like, freaked out. I don't know, it's a weird thing. But obviously the music now is, like, really, really going. So I feel like I'm pushed to start moving. I'm not going to do that immediately because I'm, like I said, examining this. But, but yeah, and then, like, you can hear him coughing. But, uh, the guns. Again, the, we'll take the guns. So I don't know. Like, and this is a really condensed room, too. Like, there's blood everywhere. And I... There's things against the doors, I'm assuming... I don't know, I guess we drop down from there and then somebody shot people? I don't know how this works, but... This is a very confusing room, I still can't really figure it out. But anyway, let's pick him up. Uh... I can't... I can't see up there. Weird. Uh, I'm gonna go through. Uh... I guess we're carrying him to safety. And there's the Ku Kugat? Kuga? Airfield? Which was hinted in the plans in the earlier part. And I love this, like there's so like so much commotion. He really nails this like idea. Like there's this feel of like there's tons and tons of people here and like we're just trying to get through and you think people be freaking out that I'm carrying a dude that's bleeding. There's a jump cut, like now we're in a different area. I have a bunch of guns, so I don't know how I got through that metal detector, but whatever. Uh but yeah, I think there'll be another yeah, I can see like time is flying by. Outside is really weird, it looks like we're in space, which is weird, but whatever. It's, it works. You're probably not really looking at that. You're supposed to be just sort of wa walking forward. I think it'll jump here. Jump cut again. Uh, right about now? Yeah. yeah. This is also a really giant room for, like, no reason. Like, what is the point of this? But it doesn't matter. Like, you're supposed to be just walking forward. And now the time is pretty slow. So, like, actually, it's stopped. Now it moves. And then, like, you can see all the flights. Like, and this guy's listening to music. He's not paying attention, so we'll take his cart. Uh, and then, yeah, and then see it switches again, because we were looking this way. I think, did the color scheme change? Because wasn't it dark? Or at least it lit up. Uh, and there's people moving now. Uh, you know, back to the airport, getting them, getting them faster to safety, I guess. Still space outside, and then, like, oh, yeah, a hard jump to a flashback. Spoilers is a flashback. Um, and it's, like, weird. Like, look at that. Like, it just cut the music off, like, and it's still... It still works. Like in the moment when you're just playing through this, that cut, it's it works really well because it just sort of all of a sudden it just makes this whole part like just oddly si oddly silent because like you know you were just in this like frantic moment, and now you're in this like really really quiet part. So something's off here. Like obviously you either probably like you're seeing her, which is Anita, so you're probably thinking like is this a flashback or is this afterwards or something but she was all bloodied up and she has her vest here which also another visual thing like you can see her the lights on her and you're coming up and seeing that like okay she's not all shut up and she's got her boots off shoes off and she's doing something as sort of mundane as just peeling oranges you can't talk to her though uh and you got this like hum of like this the streets and stuff of course there's like no streets down there but you can hear, like, yeah, police cars and stuff. It's, it's really cool. Uh, visual, like, like, visual design and also just, like, the audio design. Uh, and you can pick up the oranges. Another, like, kind of in interactivity thing for interactivity. And if you click, peel the orange out. That's a really satisfying sound, by the way, too. Like, it's so good. And I think you, it's a weird-looking orange, but <laughs> eats it anyway. Including the, the stem, I guess, because I don't see the stem anywhere. Uh... But yeah, this is just a really cool part. And you can hear that ticking, right? Like, you can hear the ticking. Uh, it might be hard to hear in the recording, but... Uh, oh, and actually, also, you can see these police monitor things flying around. Which makes it weird, because this is a really weird uh, place. Because why are there, like, bok choy places on in, like, a huge apartment building that's, like, giant? Looks like there's an abyss down there. But we're not playing Dark Souls, so... Uh, but yeah, you can hear the ticking. So they're already hinting at, like, something is off here. And I, I, I love this. Like, as soon as you go over here, so you see that it's 5.21 a.m., another visual thing. You, that's, like, that's where you're, you're, you're looking at. And that's, like, another thing, too, like, the theme of this game. Obviously, like, I've said it a hundred times, the visual. But, like, a lot of games have a hard time because, like, the player can be looking around. 
and anything he wants to. And like this, it's pretty rare that a player is probably going to be doing this. He could be walking backwards for some weird reason, and maybe he's speed running it. Uh, but you're going to see the 5.21 a.m. and realize what time it is, and like you can connect that stuff yourself, and it's not like telling you like in the corner, like, oh, 5.21 a.m., the apartment. It doesn't need to do that. And then here's another cut. And then like even if you go back, it stays consistent. She's not there anymore. I don't even know if the... Oh, uh, yeah, the, the peels are still there. Time didn't really change, so... I guess it's probably not that much later. What's the time now? Yeah, 7.53 p.m., so... I guess it did change quite a bit. You'd think that it'd be like... It's, I guess it's the next day, so there's this hard jump there. And it's like the one time they actually talk like that, which is weird, but you can tell like from the cake and the, the beers, I think, the alcohol, you're going to be going to probably a party, that's my guess. The cake actually looked like a wedding cake, because there's two people on it, so probably a wedding. Um, and like any game, you have to check all these doors, and of course you can check these doors, because why wouldn't you? Uh, and then obviously you get a little bit of reward there with, with one guy looking through, but uh, but yeah, so and like that that kind of hints too that there's stairs coming. Another door, might as well might as well check it. I know I know the outcome here, but there you might as well check it. And then yeah, the stairs, thirty flights, I love it, get it. And another rule of games is you gotta go. They probably went up, but let's go down because we have to, right? It's a video game. We have to try all the options. Oh, a malfunctioning stair and. Then there is. That's a all right. That's a malfunctioning stair, and you can't you can't get through. But uh, now we're gonna go up thirty flights. Actually, it's not. It's spoilers. It's not thirty flights. <laughs> this game's a lie. The, the title's a lie. Start to hear the the cats that are up here. Uh, same thing. Like that's a weird panel. I'm trying to think of like what that even mean. Like because it's like orange. Why it changes? I don't know. Maybe it means like you're making progress. Um, then I don't get these cats. Like there's just a bunch of cats, which I still don't really understand. They're annoying too. And that cat is like living life to the fullest or something. I don't know. That cat's brave. And also they're hissing. You know, get away, get away from these cats. Ah, oh, it's like you can almost hear him worse up here. There's another cat that's living life to the edge. He's living. That's, yeah. Creepy. Cats. I don't know. The internet likes cats. That makes, that, you know. This is a game that you can get on the internet, so maybe that makes sense. No roof access. No roof access. And we're going to be on the roof. There's another police. Thing. No roof access, but we're still here and we're having a party going against the against the rules. Uh, and if you play Gravity Bone, you know you you've seen her before. There's a there's your nod to Gravity Bone that they're in the same universe as I guess. Also, they they look the same. All the blockhead blockheaded people. Uh, but this is like the wedding. There's it's funny. This is a weird part too because like there's like no music going and there's people dancing. It's just a weird, uh, another one of the weird things about this game. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the models are used over and over again. Like you see the same people, but that's fine. Like in when there's enough together, it doesn't really make much difference. Uh, I find that it's funny that these people are just dancing to nothing. It's just always weird to me. And they got a bunch of actual alcohol when it's supposed to be prohibition. But oh well. And then here's our teammates, which you can sit down with them. And this is just an also really weird part. Uh, yeah, it gets overwhelming with like the tapping, and then it just gets really weird, just really odd. They're the ones that oh, the people talking over there are the ones getting married, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This whole part is just, just very weird. <laughs> but we're drinking a lot, so, and I, I like how uh, in a second you see it. A small touch, but it works. Yeah, her hair changes. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good another thing, like another visual thing, like that shows that she is like probably drunk, <laughs> like, or definitely drunk, even her, the way her animations are. And then these cat. And there's another thing too, is like I love how it's all glared, like all the lights are glaring. That's a cool touch. And like even like even the colors, like maybe that's why like there's the orange there is like to sort of emphasize the color. 
like saturation I guess is what it would be because like you don't have that much color here but uh, you get it and then yeah there's a hard cut and then still you're obviously still in the same time frame so it's keeping consistent it's 120 and 1am but with the you know that because like the glare at least that's how I knew it uh, I still don't really know why we were doing that like that's one of the things about this game is it doesn't explain itself too well but I don't know if it really matters but we all we know is went to like some wedding uh, and then yeah I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here and then we're falling down that part that we saw earlier which I guess this is canonical here where I fell here because that's all broken so I guess our mission went wrong and it's all slow here so I guess you don't know that she's over here so maybe you were last to get here so maybe he shot her I don't, I don't know how this works but we're back in the airfield now. Uh, this part's actually really cool too, the way it does the uh, the signs, the advertisements. One of them says Quadrilateral Cowboy, yeah that one, which is his next game, hinting at it there. Which I think is cool, all these things are cool. Like, you're probably not supposed to really be reading them that much, or sort of just vaguely seeing them. But we start to learn like, okay, so he's actually wanted for a bunch of bad crimes. His first name is Winston, now we know that. He has a bunch of aliases. I didn't read these before. Petulant Eerie? The Big Pie Goo? <laughs> weird. There's also a weird future where they have a bunch of TVs everywhere. Telephone screens. What was that? I don't know. Uh, but again, like, look at how straight this is. It's like really emphasizing that, like, you need to get out of here and this feels, like, overwhelming. And you need to get to this exit. And then, yeah blocks the thing, which is like, that's a terrible thing to do to your friend, isn't it? Like, I'm assuming he's my friend. Wouldn't that hurt his head? I don't know. This whole thing's weird. And maybe he's like cussing me out right now. <laughs> and then like, this is like the one part of the game I don't know. I don't know, like they do the part where when you talk to them both... I didn't know you could go back through there. When you talk to them both, it does that whole like, um, cuts where like you learn what they are about. 